All right, in this video, we are going to learn how to use models, either the area model or the number line model, to represent fractions that are greater than one. So uh, let's get started. And the idea is, well, first thing we have to do, though, is we have to understand what the heck does a fraction mean? So when we look at four thirds, we need to remember what does four thirds mean? All right, and so uh, the three is the denominator right there. That's the denominator, and that tells you the number of parts, the number of parts in one whole. All right, that's called the denominator. In fact, let me write that down. Denominator denominator all right and that's what um, the denominator tells you how many parts do you need in order to make one whole now that top number that tells you the number of parts you have all right and that's what the top number means it's the number of parts you have and uh, that is called the numerator numerator all right and so that's the that's the reminder right first off we have to we have to uh, in order for us to represent a fraction using the area model or the number line we have to remember what a fraction is so that denominator that bottom number represents the number of parts in a whole uh, and then the top number represents how many parts you actually have. So if we're going to actually dig into this four thirds business, so let's let's dig into that four thirds. And uh, four thirds means remember what it means. It means uh, you have four parts, but you only need three parts to make a whole. So when it's three parts makes a whole, but you have four parts, it means you have more than one whole. So let's just draw a whole cut into three parts, and that's supposed to be equal sized parts. And so that represents three parts that we have. And then we are supposed to have another we could have another hole, but we, we're only going to shade in one of them because that four tells you you have four parts. That three says it takes three parts to make a hole. So there's our, here's our four thirds. And these three right here is our one hole. Plus we have one third left over one third left over so a couple of things first off that's what the area model is going to look like to represent four thirds you've got three pieces here to make one whole plus you have an additional part right here because you had more than one whole and if we wanted to we could say that four thirds is equal to one whole plus one third but that's not really the part of the the, the point of this video right now now, if we wanted to show four thirds as a number line, all right, so what we could do, and I want to make that a little bit larger, okay, and here's my number line, and I could represent zero right there, I could represent one right there, I could represent two right there, and I don't know, three would be off the screen a little bit maybe. And uh, so to represent four thirds, remember what four thirds means. Four thirds means that three means each whole number has been cut into three equal sized pieces. So there's three. Now I'm only going to need two lines to create my three equal sized pieces. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. There. And so now four thirds means I have four parts. I have four pieces. So I'm going to use red, I'm going to say there's one, there's two, there's three, and lastly, there is four. So right here is four 
four-thirds. And again, you can see that that four-thirds is one whole plus one extra third, or you can see it as four-thirds. All right, so now let's just practice one last time. Let's do seven-fourths, all right? And seven-fourths, we're going to do with the area model first. And seven-fourths says it takes four pieces to make one whole. So I'm going to do that. Here's my one whole. I don't know. I don't remember what I said. I'm going to say seven-fourths means, seven-fourths means it takes four pieces to make one whole. I can't remember if I said that. Um, so there's one whole. Now that seven means we have seven pieces, and so far we only have four pieces. So I need to draw another hole, cut it up into four pieces, because that denominator says each hole is supposed to have four. And now I'm free to shade it in. One piece, two pieces, three pieces, four pieces, five, six, and seven. And so that is what seven-fourths is going to look like with the area model. You can see that we have seven, oops. You can see we have seven fourths right here, which represents one whole plus three fourths left over. But right now, our real focus is just trying to draw what seven fourths is going to look like. And now let's let's draw seven fourths on a number line. All right, so there's my one, I mean zero, there's my one, there's my two. I can even fit in a three right here, can't I? And then that seven-fourths, remember that four means each of these guys is cut into four equal-sized pieces. Each hole is cut into four equal-sized pieces. And then you, so I only need three lines to do that because it creates one, two, three, four pieces. And let's repeat that process over here. And heck, we can even do that right here. Now that we've cut everything into four pieces, we know that we need to move it into and move over seven of those intervals. So let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there we are. There is our seven fourths. And you can see that seven fourths is one whole right here plus three fourths more and that wraps up uh, that wraps up how we represent whole numbers with models either the area model or the number line model